some questions, all right? So our yep. first question, what would be your most memorable game in the AFL and why? Yeah, uh, I've probably, it's hard to pick just one, but um, a couple that stand out would be my first game for Brizzy. Um, I think the year before, the guys had only won five games or something and we were coming up against the reigning premiers, uh, West Coast, and then we came out and won by about 40 or 50 points. Uh, against the reigning premiers, which is pretty cool. Oh, awesome. And then uh, last year, beating Richmond in, in the final, um, that, that first final was pretty special as well. So if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Uh, one superpower, uh, probably like transportation, just being able to click my fingers and get somewhere. I don't really like, I love traveling, but not the actual travel component, so. Yeah, if you could switch lives with anyone, who would it be and why? Uh, probably Steph Curry. Uh, I love basketball, I love the NBA, but obviously I'm not blessed with height, so that was never an option for me. I love his shot, he can shoot it from anywhere. Uh, I love the Golden State Warriors, so yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to play a game at NBA and, and take Steph Curry's spot for a day. Have you ever seen a game of NBA live? Yeah, I've actually met Steph as well, oh, which really? is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Amazing. So, um, yeah, I did a trip to America a few years ago where it was basically like an NBA trip, so we got to meet a few players and hang out with them and um, watch quite a few games and, and meet some pretty cool people. What would be your favourite way to de-stress? Yeah, de-stress, I've got a few different things. Um, I play golf uh, most of my days off. I do a bit of meditation and, and um, jumping float tanks and whatnot when I yeah. can, so I um, usually do that once a week. Um, and meditate every day, so. But, you know, do, do you have any nicknames you grew up with that are still stuck there, or? No, nah, not really from when I was younger. Um, and my mates were pretty pretty boring in the nickname department. I was just sort of lock. Um, when I first got to Frio, Matthew Pavlich tried to get Cowboy to stick. Cowboy? There was a player uh, a long time ago called Cowboy Neil that played for St Kilda, I think. Yep. But that didn't stick. Um, and then at the moment, I've got Chop, so Choppy Neil. Um, Choppy Neil? Yeah, that started, it was a weird way that it started. Um, Alex Witherden, who used to play with us, rolled into the club one day and he was pretty tired and he just tried to say lock and Chop come out. <laughs> so that sort of stuff. So now I'm getting Chop a fair bit now. What's something you can't live without? Something that I can't live without. I'll do the right thing and say my wife at the moment. She'll, she'll appreciate that. <laughs> but right. nah, I don't think I would. I'm, I'm not the greatest cook or the greatest cleaner in the world. I think that's any man, right? You want to be a good woman? Um, all right, the camera's off now. What, what really can't you live without? <laughs> <laughs> Who would be your hall pass? <laughs> my hall pass? Uh, Jules would let me get away with Mila Kunis, I reckon. Mila Kunis? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, do you have a male hall pass? Male hall pass, Steph Curry. Steph yeah, Curry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you went on your phone and had a look at your last few emojis, what's your, what's your most popular emoji that you're always using? I think the quite laughing, crying face. Um, I use that quite a bit, which is probably a good sign. It'd be, be bad if it was like the angry one or something like that, wouldn't it? As, as you know, um, and you can clearly see I'm a bit of an athlete myself, yeah. not really, but, but you know, for, for any young kids or anyone, what, what would be your advice to anyone wanting to be a professional athlete or to play professional AFL? Yeah, I think um, one thing that I've tried to do the whole way through is enjoy it, enjoy the process, enjoy what I'm doing, um, you get taught a lot about the skills needed and um, a lot about structure and all these sorts of things, but a lot of coaches forget to tell you to keep enjoying the game. So um, even when things are getting stressful and whatnot, I just try and enjoy what I'm doing every day and enjoy the process. What would be the worst haircut you've ever had? Worst haircut that I've ever had? Uh, my mum tried to cut my hair once. Uh, <laughs> the old mum's, mum's yeah, haircut. Yeah, and it was like full bowl cut and I was at that age, I think I was sort of like maybe 12, 13 where like I had to be a good haircut and she just butchered it. She admits that she butchered it um, and I refused to go to school the next day. Really? Yeah. That bad? Yeah, I think we were going on school camp like two days later so she got a hairdresser friend uh, to fix it up the next day but it was all right. I was pretty filthy. If you had to describe yourself in three words, what would those three words be and why? Uh, I'd say driven, I think like with my sport and anything that I sort of put my mind to, pretty driven to succeed, um, pretty passionate, um, whether that's 
with sport as well, or family and friends. Um, always pretty passionate and I suppose loyal with them as well. Um, so yeah, that's probably three words, there you go. Yeah. What, what's something you're binge watching at the moment or you're really getting into? Uh, been watching This Is Us. It's a show about triplets and their life. Like, they flash back a lot. Right, I've seen that on Netflix. I haven't watched it, but I've yeah. seen that yet. Yeah, it's good. good. It's pretty good. While you're watching Netflix, you got a snack food or anything like that you get into that you probably shouldn't as an athlete. I like that like sweet and salty popcorn. That's probably my favourite snack. But yeah, can't eat too much of it. In preparation for a game, is there anything that pumps you up, like music or anything you get into? Yeah, I sort of, I don't really listen to pump up music. A lot of the guys will have um, some like heavy techno or a lot of rap and stuff, but I, I'm like a complete opposite. Love listening to chilled out stuff, so a lot of Angus and Julia Stone. I feel like that gets me more in the zone than um, pump up sort of music. At home, who's the cook? Well, off for yourself. Yeah, Jules is definitely the cook. What's your um, favourite meal? My favourite meal. I love like, uh, I love ribs, barbecued ribs. And yeah. Pork or beef? Uh, pork. pork. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, what do you reckon? So the missus is a hairdresser, so um, coming back or are you going to see her again? Uh, I might have to come back. <laughs> it's, uh, it's looking pretty sharp. Sorry, Jules. Sat. <laughs> Doghouse tonight. <laughs>